Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I just finished reading volume one of Birthright, so that's what I'm going to be reviewing today. I got this one ages ago and I've been really excited to read it, but for some reason I never really got around to it. But what this is, is basically a spin on the classic fantasy story of a boy go goes off to a fantasy world and becomes a hero over there. Because this story is also about a boy called Mikey who also goes off to a fantasy world called Terranos but this story is actually set in our world and it focuses on Mikey's family and how they they just know that he has disappeared and they don't know where he's gone off to so they are looking for him and eventually Mikey comes back to them and they are trying to figure out like is this really their son is this really their brother so it shows the story kind of from a different perspective which I really like so it is set in our world but you get a lot of flashbacks of to Mikey's time in the fantasy world because he tells his family about his time there uh, so yeah I really liked seeing those two worlds and I liked how all the transitions were done it was like it was never really abrupt the perspective always changed like just at the right moment I really liked that although like my favorite aspect of the story was definitely still the fantasy world because fantasy um, I did start to like our world more and more as well because there were more fantasy elements coming over into this world as well this story very much deals with the idea of family and the different types of relationship within a family Mikey has a brother called Brennan and I actually feel like he might become the true hero of the story. I don't know, this is just random guessing because you don't really get that from this comic to be honest. But yeah, it's very much about his relationship with Mikey and also about the relationship with Mikey and his dad. His mum doesn't feature as much, but we do, towards the end of the volume, we do get a little bit more of an idea of how she fitted into the family. So I really like this kind of focus on family because that's not something you see that often especially in fantasy stories and especially in kind of stories where a boy is whisked away to a fantasy world because very often they're like orphans and we don't ever hear anything about their family whatsoever. Mikey himself as a main character I'm not sure if, if he's very likeable you do learn a bit more about him which makes you guess like is he truly a hero or isn't he and so that's interesting. I don't know if I really like him, but he is definitely a really interesting character. Mikey's mum and dad, they both have a very different attitude towards Mikey's return to our world. His mum is really like the sensible one and wants to like really check out if this is real or not or, or if someone is playing some sort of trick on them and their dad is really the very emotional one. He immediately wants to believe that it's Mikey come back to them and he's very open about his emotions and all that. So that's also kind of interesting about this story that the mother kind of has certain characteristics that are sometimes deemed more masculine while the father has some characteristics which are sometimes deemed more feminine. That's I like that. When Mikey comes back to our world he tells his family that he needs to find certain war criminals from Terranos to have escaped towards our earth. And that's how kind of the two worlds start to intertwine and you'll get some magic in this world as well, which I really like. As I said before, the world of Terranos was the most interesting part, I thought, but it was also like we got only snippets of it. So it's not that well explained yet. It's very much a setup for a series, this first novel, because you have these two worlds and you get introduced to characters in this world but also in the other world so you very much are introduced to everyone and the whole situation so I did really enjoy it but it also did feel like a setup of a story. The artwork was really nice, I had a lot of like clean lines which I generally really like and the artwork, the colours are also quite nice but from the cover I would have guessed that all the artwork would have been much brighter but that's not really the case like every now and then it'll be a bit brighter but it's also a lot of dark colors but 
it does kind of fit this story because this was a much darker fantasy story than I was anticipating. It had been ages since I'd read what the story was about so I didn't really remember. So when I started reading the story I realised oh wow this is much darker than I thought it was going to be but I definitely really enjoyed it. Overall I thought this was a really good introduction to a new series. I really liked where the story seems to be going and I like the world that we're introduced to. The characters, I'm not very attached to any of them yet but there's definitely like potential there I guess. They're interesting at least so I'm interested in learning more about them in the next volume which I'm definitely going to pick up. So I gave this one on Goodreads 4 stars because it was really enjoyable but it also felt like a setup and like I said I'm not very attached to the characters yet so that's the only reason I'm not giving it 5 star but stars, but this was definitely very enjoyable. If you've also read Birthright, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll see you next time. Bye!